First, we'll define the two constants, LED pin and the button pin, and we set the correct value for each of these pins. Next, we'll introduce a few variables. Button state is the variable for reading pin status. Blink delay is a new variable that we will use to decide how fast the LED will be blinking. Last button state, that's uh, for saving, uh, for keeping track of the last uh, button state, really. Uh, la last toggle uh, MS is for keeping track of time. Uh, let's just make this a little bit prettier. There we go. Okay, so the setup function is pretty straightforward. We put the LED pin as an output and we set the button pin to be an input. I'll, uh, clean up a little bit so uh, the loop function it's a little bit more complicated this time in this example we want to detect when the button is pushed but we only want one detection per push to achieve this, we introduce debouncing and checking of the last button state. In addition to this, we use a timer to control the blinking of the LED. So here, here is the code for button detection, and here is the code for uh, blinking the LED. So we'll start off with the button detection. First, we read the button state by using digital read function. If the button state pin is high, then we go into this next block of code, which is defined here. Next, a delay of 50 milliseconds is introduced before the pin is checked again. We check the pin again to make sure we are not detecting any bouncing. But uh, as you can see in this uh, if statement, uh, we also check if the last button state was low. We use the AND, two ampers and uh, check characters, that means AND, and, and check for its last button state equals low. So we only want to go further if both the button pin is still high and the last button state was low, so that we know that we don't detect a, uh, a pushed button several times. We only want to detect it once. So if both of these holds true, we have detected a push of the button and we can execute whatever you want to execute. In this example, I'll increase the blink delay variable so that the blinking will slow down. As you can see here, I increase uh, the blink delay by 250 milliseconds and by, by typing plus uh, and an equal sign, we increase the value of the, of the variable. And then I also check that if the blink delay is above 550 milliseconds, I want to reset it down to 50 milliseconds. So that it will never be more than 550 milliseconds. Then at the end here, I'll save the state so that we'll only register the button push once. When we release the button, button state here will read low and this one will not hold true so that the else fun the else statement will uh, uh, be used instead and here it says last button state equals low so that whenever we release the button the last button states will be set back to low. So let's look at the timer. 
the millis function it's a function that returns the number of milliseconds since the Arduino was started or reset. If this number is larger than the number of milliseconds since last toggle of the LED plus the blink delay, that is these two, if this one is larger than these two, then we toggle the LED and we save the current um, millis value in the last toggle ms variable. If the millis function is not larger than these two variables, uh, then we do nothing. Then it's not time to toggle the to toggle the LED yet. yet. So to toggle the LED, we use um, the digital write command, but instead of um, setting uh, the state directly instead of writing high or low in this uh, in this place we use the digital read command so we read what the current state is on the LED pin then we use the exclamation mark to uh, co uh, to return the opposite of the current value so if the LED pin is low then this uh, statement will uh, return high. 